My meditation practice, I use something called the Silva Method. Uh, the Silva Method is uh, something from the 50s, 60s. It's uh, more so of a visualization technique. It's almost like you go in your brain and have an office where you do stuff. Um, the guys who started it, or the men who started it and the proponents of it, get pretty out there with what you can do with the Silva Method. You can change your hair and make yourself tall. You've got all kinds of wild stuff. You can cure yourself of every disease, whatever. But it's a good, it, meditation is meditation, and um, that's the key, that you get into an altered state and, you know, work the brain, brain exercise. Um, I got interested by the Silva Method, probably testing out their claims, what could you do? But even still, it was an interesting journey. It's just something I kept on doing. If in 20 years we had really integrated meditation into our schools, into our prison systems, into the community, we'd see a much different landscape when it comes to uh, violence and aggression. Um, it's what the studies support. It's what the other case studies show. Like I said, uh, one of the most violent prisons in Mexico. One year had 44 murders in a prison riot. 44 men dead in one incident. After they started their meditation program, they haven't had any extreme violent cases. So if you can calm down a Mexican prison, it looks like you'd be all right with your, uh, you know what I'm saying, your neighborhood. So yeah, yeah, uh, that would be the hope.